All right, so today we're gonna build a. Can I get one of the buttons? Yeah. 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 Today we're gonna build a switch that we're gonna use with the adapted toys. So this switch is made out of uh, two CDs, copper tape. We use we use Velcro and we use uh, an audio cable that we can actually buy separately the connector and the cable and solder everything or we can just go ahead and buy the audio connector and actually solder them on the two CDs and uh, get it working so I'm gonna show exactly how it goes step by step and uh, what are gonna look for on uh, Amazon so you're able to buy everything and show the tools and everything that we're gonna do and maybe some extra stuff that I don't remember right now so um, at first we're gonna start like uh, looking at the connectors because that's when there is a chance that like a like we have to get like a matching component so it's actually straightforward otherwise we have to figure out what's going on all right so we're gonna use a mono uh, an audio cable an audio cable with a mono connector how do I know the connector is mono the connector is mono when it has only one black strip so it has two electrical connectors because there's only one black strip how is the stereo connector how are the other connectors the stereo connector has two black strips instead of having only one so you have actually three electrically isolated connections so this is the one that we're going to use so how we're going to find this or how you guys are going to find this so um, when you go to uh, Amazon let's say on Amazon you're gonna type mono 2.5 millimeters and I'm gonna tell why in a little bit so this one is a three foot cable 2.5 millimeter mono Mayo to mayo cable. So if you buy one of these, you're gonna be able to make two switches. Why? Because each switch is gonna use only one of the. So it we're gonna cut this guy in half and use one for each switch. All right. So uh, let's see. And uh, why 2.5 millimeters? Because there is another one. Oh yeah, so there's another one that looks just like that one. So this would be a stereo, but this is 1.5 millimeter. So like a, it's one millimeter is like a thinner than the other one. So if you get the 2.5 millimeter mono, we will try to look for, oh, that's for the toy, but we're gonna try to find the matching connector on the toy layer. Uh, so yeah, this is how we're gonna go forward then. So imagine that it got that, uh, this basic three foot 2.5 millimeter mono mayo to mayo cable, right? So let's put that back in the, I don't need that anymore. All right, so here's our cable. If we want to do two of them, I think the easiest way is actually to divide them in half or and cut it here. Maybe, but like this is a, I would say that this is a six foot, but maybe three foot for a switch. Is this good enough or not? I would say it's good enough, right? Yeah. All right, because like a, this is how far this switch can be away from the toy you know if this is too short then the toy has to be pretty close to the kid if this is far enough then it doesn't have to be that close and actually it works well if you're using like a 
like a, a bubble machine or something. You don't want the toy very close to the kid, I guess. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this guy in half. So I'm using a snipper. Uh, if, you own, if you have scissors, they'll work the same. If you have uh, just a wire stripper, what you do is just like a, there's the wire cutter on the wire stripper and you just, all right. So now we're gonna have to strip the wire. So this wire, uh, we will try to find, if you're gonna use a wire stripper, we will try to find what's the matching diameter like I, you can see that there's like a, a, a very small diameter, a, 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 like a bigger one and, and it goes big, big, because like these are, these are the standard diameters for like an electrical wire. So that's why they pick it this sizes. So I'm gonna go maybe with the six on this one. And it's just like a, we are gonna try to cut just the outer insulation, just this black one that we see right here, right? Um, yeah, and then, so I'm gonna, so the six doesn't do any harm to the insulation, so I'm gonna go to the four. You actually have to actually put pressure enough so you cut it, and then like a, suppose you don't have to do this, but like a, so you're gonna just try to go into one of the selections that the selection is good enough to actually, or small enough to cut the, cut through the insulation, but not cut through the inner wires. No, not, not even the two and a half. Cause like I think this, is, this insulation might be too thick. So what I'm gonna use it's like a, just a snipper. But with the snipper, you have to be careful not to cut through the whole wire. So actually, I kind of bite a little bit in every direction. And then I put some pressure and uh, go back and forth like this. And you can see how it, start, it starts cutting through this outer insulation. But this is what we don't want to, like a cut through the whole thing. So if we cut through the whole thing, then we just go again and try again, you know? Like a, it's a little bit of a practice to know how much pressure you actually need to uh, just cut through the, through the outer insulation. The, the scissors is gonna work better maybe. So again, like a, I wanna put very little pressure but just cut through the outer insulation or the, the plastic. So I'm just like a, kinda like a rubbing the, the plastic against the, the, the cutting edge of the scissors. And then you just try to pull the, the insulation off. No, not being lucky today, I guess. Um, let's see which tool will be the best tool to use. So the goal is actually to 
cut the outer insulation but not cut the wires that are inside. Yeah, I think that like a this specific one actually is the this one's gonna be a little bit short. Let's see. Uh maybe we're gonna go with this then with the because yeah, like a, that wire is different than this one. Okay. Because like uh yeah I'm gonna show what I'm uh, telling Dr. Olson. That's different. I'm just gonna put something to protect the table. Because otherwise the city is gonna kill me. Yeah. They see that I'm using the a razor against the oh. table. Yeah. So like uh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cut. Watch, watch your hand. Don't put your hand close to the knife. So I'm just gonna try to cut like a axially, I guess. Cut along. And remember to protect your table, otherwise they're gonna and watch for your fingers. Alright, so if you get that one that's on the on Amazon, most likely it's the same one as we have. Or there's a chance it's the same one as, as we have. This one, you can see that there is like a, all these wires that are kind of bare and this wire that's in the middle. So each wire actually is connected to one of these electrical contacts and they're insulated from each other, right? Um, so the problem is whenever I cut the insulation out, it actually, the, the outer uh, wire or this, all these strands, they're actually glued <laughs> to the, to this, to this insulation, you know. So, like, uh, what I'm trying to do by hand is kind of like I try to. So that may be a bit bad. But like, a, it's something that they can find. I, I can show the other ones. Okay. Like, uh, the easiest way to make sure that you get the other wire is if we get the the connector that you just solder, you know. Okay. But there's one extra step then. Uh, all right. Yeah, we're gonna try to keep as many strands as possible because the if you cut so many strands off, it's gonna limit how much uh, energy can go through the wire without actually like uh, heating the wire up. You know, each strand has like a a capacity like a to conduct electricity. So we're gonna try to keep as many as we can there. All right. So like a uh, the best. Uh, the best setup in our case for this one that we buy, like uh, for this specific one that I showed you guys on uh, on uh, on Amazon, most likely is the same one that we have. So the best way to cut it is using a, a utility knife again, and uh, we're gonna take the wire and cut it like a along like this don't put a lot of pressure in the first cut. The first cut you can do kind of like a, and without putting a lot of pressure, just to make like a, a guide, you know? And then the second one, when you, when you and, and then the second time when you go over again, then it's gonna go deeper and then you just keep going until it cuts through the insulation altogether. Yeah, so like see, this is a lot easier and I don't damage the wires like uh, I did when I was when I was using the snipper or the knife or the or the stripper. wire stripper. Yeah. So now we have this, right? So we have these two wires. So I has I still have to peel this one. Yeah. So like again, try not to. See, it should be this easy, you know, it shouldn't be 
like a, as difficult as this other one. Um, so, but you know, we get what we get, I guess. All right. So, when we make the switch, when we make the switch, each of these sides is going to go to one side of the switch, right? And then when we touch the 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 each like a the metal part that's like a, on the CD. When, when you touch them, then it's the same as doing this. So we don't want these two sides to touch, only this side. We don't want the two wires to touch. All right. So um, let's see, strip the wire. Yeah, and like a, as Dr. Olson was saying, like a, that this is not, not a good wire, but like it's one of the wires that, come, that can come. So, the other kind of wire is like a, if each of the wires has, so like a, this is a cable with two wires. A wire is just an insulation with some metal strands inside or just like a, just like a, a solid, like a core, but like a, so, but like this is a cable with two wires and Sometimes it can even be, uh, for example, this one actually is a cable with three wires. See, you can see, I don't know if you can see on my video, but uh, this is a cable with three wires. Um, and these three wires, just because this connector that I bought it's a stereo. See, it has like three, el three el electric connectors. All right. So, so, but like, we got this one with what we. Um, how it's a way to actually make sure that we get one like this. This one actually is a a little bit of like different setup. This one is when you buy separately the connector and um, and some wire so this wire is just a piece of wire so I would say it's a wire that you that like a on a Amazon you'd write cable with two wires then it's gonna give you like a cable with two wires like this if you want a three wires inside, then you select three wires, you know. Or actually, this one is actually four wires. This is for like a, a USB connector. Uh, all right. So um, next, we're gonna put this aside a little bit, and we're gonna go for the CDs. So to get the CDs with the like a uh, uh, metal uh, surface, we're gonna use a copper tape. We most likely are gonna list all, like everything that you need on the, on canvas or however we're gonna. So we're gonna try to uh, cover the whole thing. So for example, this is, is gonna be the first layer on top. So let's peel it off. Let's see. Try to do a good job on that. I'm gonna move one side. And just like a by hand, I'm gonna start pushing like this. Keep this up, and then try to smooth it down. I think that's the easiest way to make sure that like a, if, if it gets bubbles, that's fine. It's not like a, it doesn't have to be perfect. But we're gonna try to cover the whole bottom part of the CD.
And this is actually for both CDs. So I have this one. And by hand, I'm just going to. All right, that one. And uh, you, you actually you want one piece of tape to go a little bit over the other one because that's how they're going to be electrically connected because when the kids pushes them together, you don't know which side of the CD is going to actually touch, um, but you want whatever touches to actually be connected to the wire that we're going to solder here, right? Um, okay, now I'm gonna just try to cut the excess. Let's see, maybe I think this is a fragile enough that I can just like a that like a we can just like a I'm actually ripping it off, pushing it down like a towards the CD. So then like a see I'm, I'm, I'm pushing towards the CD so then like a I make sure that I cover the whole surface if if I try to rip it like this then I then I might like a just rip it like a some of the one that's covering the CD but I want to actually cover the whole CD and then that's fine we just have to put some more tape on all right, so like uh, that's how it ended up. All right, so this is one of them. The second one's gonna be one just like this one. So. Uh, I see that one you did for the next step. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I can. Yeah, maybe I can. <laughs> all right, yeah, you can do this one while I. All right. So we got two CDs. What, so how are the CDs going to be connected? One CD is going to be connected to the other CD, like physically, not electrically, but like a, they're going to be connected physically through like using Velcro. Otherwise, they're going to come out, and you don't want them to come out. Like you want them to be together, but you, want, you don't want the metal to be touching. So that's why. We use the tape, so the tape now it's glued to the surface and it's not gonna come out. Um, and we're gonna use some Velcro. So you have the two sides of Vel the two sides of the Velcro, you know. So you want to do uh, let's use some uh, hot glue just to make sure it's gonna be glued well. You put some there and you just put some here. You want to create. You want to put some Velcro, but what you don't want to do. Uh, I'm gonna leave the the other side of the Velcro connected to this one. See, I glued the one the one on the bottom to that to that CD, and the one on top now has the glue facing the top, right? But I want them like a like that. So I'm gonna put some more like glue on this one. I'm going to put only three of them. Why? Because if the child pushes right on top of the, of the Velcro, the two wires are, the two CDs are never going to touch. Why? Because there is the Velcro in between. So, we're, but we want to leave enough surface so it supposedly they, they can push anywhere, you know, because the Velcro is actually taking just a little bit off the off the surface and not everything. If we if we cover the whole surface with Velcro, then the two sides will never touch. All right. So 
So I'm going to use three of them. All right. And uh, that's what I'm going to do it for. That's what I'm going to do for now. The other one I'm going to glue yet. So what I want to do now is this. We're going to solder this wire from the cable that we just peeled and we prepared into one of these metal surfaces or into the metal surface. So what I'm going to do is you can get like a, I don't know, a clothes pin or whatever kind of uh, alligator, alligator you have. Alligator. Yeah, whatever kind of alligator you would have. And uh, what I would do is something like this. I would keep this, uh, let's see, let's go that way. And it should be in far enough so that you have. Yeah, yeah, so like, a, yeah, I'm gonna put this one here to secure the metal right there. Actually, I'm gonna put it closer to one of these. All right, see, I'm putting it right there. The bare wire is actually facing up. So this bare wire, I'm gonna actually glue to the one on top. And on the bottom, I'm, I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna actually solder this guy. So I'm gonna use another alligator. I'm gonna use another alligator to actually push this guy, this wire down. So I have one wire, like one alligator holding the insulation of the whole, of, of the audio wire as a whole, and one just pushing down the one that I'm gonna solder right now. All right. Mm. Okay, so for this task, we're gonna use uh, a soldering pencil or iron or whatever people would call, and some uh, some uh, load some solder with like this one has a core flux. Yeah, so like this one would be the one that most likely you would you would buy on. A, so this comes like I think like a three foot of solder. So what you do is, this guy is it's just gonna melt this, and the when it, when it melts, it's gonna stick to the metal, to the metal on the wire, and to the metal of the tape, and then once you take it off, the temperature is like it's 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 gonna cool off and it's become solid. So then you're gonna have a good electrical connection. So let me clean this guy up. Oh. It off all the way. Actually, it heats up pretty quick. So let's wait for this. So, whenever you plug it in, this guy is going to be um, cold. So, you have to wait for a little bit until it warms up. But, like a watch, because like it's going to be hot enough to actually burn you. Like it's hot enough to melt the, the metal. So, So it make like a like a, you're gonna see as you push in, it's gonna become liquid, and you wanna you don't wanna leave like a a blur like a like a big ball of solder. You wanna make it liquid enough that's just make a little puddle, and the wire is gonna be inside of the puddle. I don't know if you can see here, but I can try to. So there's a little puddle there, and the wire is just like a inside of the puddle. So this is the wire on the bottom, yeah. So Dr. Olson finished the other uh, CD, one that I couldn't do myself. Um, so now we're gonna do the same thing, solder this other side, this other wire on this CD. Um, Let's see, 
one thing that we're going to do before that so we don't have to keep using this alligator clip connecting to that what I'm going to do is just like a glue this uh, the, the insulation that we did not cut we're going to glue that to the, to the bottom to, to the CD on the bottom so we're going to get the hot glue Just gonna glue, glue that guy down. Yeah, I have to speak louder, otherwise, like, uh, you guys are not gonna hear me, I guess. All right, on both sides. So the thing is, why we do this? This would be kind of like a what we call a strain relief. If I pull on the wire, I do not want to pull on the solder. If I pull on the wire, I want I want the wire to actually be the one that are pulling in, not the solder. So like a, if, if I try to pull this apart, what's gonna be pulled apart is like a, the wire and the glue and, the, and, and not the solder. The solder is gonna be there. It like you, you can see that the solder doesn't move as I do this, you know? And this one, this other wire is gonna be facing up. It's gonna be facing up, why? because I do not want this guy to touch the other side. All right? So now it, we have the wire on the other side, or, or, the, or the CD on the other side. So now the hot glue is already um, solid, so we don't need those anymore. So I'm gonna go here And just solder this other wire on the. Do you want that all the way inside though? Uh, I like a. The thing is, uh, you might want to actually take this apart. When you take it apart, you see that you actually pull on the wire that's going to the other side, right? So, uh, I would try to leave some slack, you know just so if you want to pull them apart like this the solder is not going to break or anything you know so um, let's say I'm going to put it like right here see how where it is and then I'm going to try to I'm going to use the alligator clip again one thing that you can do is actually uh, so the alligator clip is going to press it down against the CD. So what you can do is actually you, you try to put it back like this. And then you're going to see what the wire is going to do. You know, like uh, the one that you're going to solder right now. Um, try to get like a... Because this one's going to be like this. Let's see. And maybe it's easier just to... See, like, uh, if you solder it where, where it should be, you are never going to be able to pull the CDs apart with actually ripping the... So I'm going to leave some... Just like, like this. So I... This top wire, what I did was, like, a, I um, looped it back over the, over the insulation and I looped it back again over the, the insulation again and this is what I'm gonna where I'm gonna clip. Why? Because then I can do this. Turn the other way without um, without actually like a have it so short, you know. Alright, now we're gonna solder this guy again. I apologize if it's confusing. If it is, you can always complain and I can do it again. <laughs> All right, again, like I just making a nice small puddle, you know, and the wire is gonna be just like a playing the puddle. All right, 
So when we put this guy together, we have to make sure that the wire, that the, that the, the one that's bare is actually not going to be uh, touching the metal on the bottom. So let me cut these extra strands that are not like a with that wire. Uh, did you get tape? I did. Like, no, did you get we electric tape? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. So like, a, we did not find any electric tape. So I'm gonna use just like some some tape. <laughs> I don't know what's the name of this tape, but. It doesn't have to be electrical tape. It, it, it cannot be conductive tape for sure, but like this is not conductive. Um, electrical would be best. Yeah, electrical would be best for sure. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kind of like wrap this tape around the, the bare wire, just so I'm 100% sure that the bare wire is not gonna touch this, the, the other CD on the opposite side. Otherwise, that's going to be the electric connection. And it's, so the CD is going to be the same as being pushed together all the time. So I'm just protecting that, this wire. So before, I, before putting them together, so I want to make sure that you guys understand. So like a, this is the end that's going to go on the toy, right? So each of these two electric insulated or they're not connected each each of these connect connections is actually connected to one of these wires and whenever i touch this metal part to this metal part is the same as closing a switch or flipping a switch right so i'm going to put this guy on top of this guy so here I have the, the Velcro that I glued into the bottom CD. And, um, and the other side of the Velcro is already here on top with the glue facing the top. You can see that it's glued there. What I'm gonna do just to make sure that this glue is good enough, I'm gonna put like a, kind of like a, a drop of hot glue on top. just to make sure that it's gonna be. And then we're gonna match the two CDs. Why I did leave, I did leave this at the, to, to the end? Because I really want them to match, you know? Cause like I, if I put some, like a three Velcros like this and the other three like that, you know? And they don't match, then it doesn't help us. All right, so if you look through the CDs, like in through the middle, not through the middle like this, but like a, in between the CDs, you're gonna see that none of the, like a, they don't touch anywhere, you know? So whenever this con we connect this guy, this switch, to a toy, so this toy is already adapted. It has the 2.5 millimeter female. The female always goes on the side of the toy and the female on the side of the switch. Male. The male on the side of the switch, yeah. When we plug them together, let's see. It should be on. It should be on, okay. So it shouldn't do anything. Why? Because this is the switch and we're not pushing the switch. So like whenever we push, in a way that we see that like a, one side touch the other side, then we see that the toy would turn on and off or activate or deactivate depending on the kind of toy you have, right? So again, if you look in between the CDs, they, they, a, any part of the metal on this side is touching the metal on that side. If there is a strand of the wire from this big wire from one side touching the other side, then the toy would, like when you connect to the toy, the toy would already activate and start doing stuff, see? See that now like a, let's see, the toy is not doing anything. But like a, if, for example, let's make a fault here. For example, let's say that I put some tape and, and the tape is already touching both sides, see? No, see, 
I left some tape out in the tape stitch, the tape stitching both sides. Then the when you connect to the toy, the toy will already activate and start doing stuff. Right? So that's some that's how you tell that your switch is good. All right? Yeah, so like a and uh as so like a, if you put a lot of velcro so for example imagine that you put like a big piece of velcro on this side and a big piece of velcro on that side you like a in between right but like a then it's going to be less of a surface that the, that the child can push to actually activate the toy but if you put very little very little velcro what happens is the two sides might touch even without the child actually pushing the switch. So like you wanna have enough, uh, I do like a, like maybe, like kind of like a triangle because then I guarantee that they're gonna be apart and I still have three sides to be able to push. If you put two big ones like this, then the child's gonna be able to push on these sides, you know? So it's kind of like a, like a, you can see whenever one like the metal tape on one on one CD touches the metal tape on the other CD, then that's how like when the toy is gonna turn on or off. All right, yeah, like uh, I think at least this was the first try of like uh, putting this video together. I think we might be might get better next time. <laughs> um, yeah, so like I hope you guys were able to see and uh, able to successfully build yours. The thing I did is I actually just put CDs. Oh yeah. And like uh, what uh, Dr. Olson did in the in the past, right? Like yeah. uh, all right. So like uh, uh, she got this um, uh, pre like a pre-made uh, DVD label kit. DVD label kit. Yeah. yeah. So like uh, it, it might come with a software, right? Like uh, when you buy the when you buy the like a uh, when you buy the box like a uh, the the DVD label kit. It comes, like yeah, you yeah you you don't have to do that. But like uh, uh this is like the cherry on top of the cake, I guess. But like uh, it's the, like uh, then you can actually install the software, and you can make a label for your CD, and then you like uh, because the finish on this CD would be whatever CD you got. You know, if it's a music I mean, CD or. Yeah, and we we're just using some old whatever yeah. CDs. Yeah, just like a CDs that like a people just trash anyway. So like, uh, then you can create your label with, I don't know, your name or brand your. Or you can put a picture of the child. Yeah, you can put a picture of the child or, or uh, be creative, I guess. And uh, <laughs> yeah, or actually leave for the child to color. But like a. Uh, yeah, but like this, actually, you can put on the printer and you can print. So that's why she got the she got the the label kit, so she can she could work on the computer and label. So this has a Umary logo, so and then it's a blank one on the back side already. And okay. Then, so so then you can put that on the other side. Yeah. So, so like turn, a turn it over. And turn it oh, okay. Yeah. So like at this one, you just like uh, see how it's any CD that you that you use, and then like a. Uh, you just peel this off, and then you just. You can go into it. Okay. So you just peel this off and just. So I'll do this after the switch is done. Why? Because you are sure that this switch works. And second, that like a, you would actually. Uh, if you have like a, the metal tape going around the edge, for example, imagine if we didn't cut the excess around, we would be able just to actually like a fold it like to the other side. So you have have some metal tape on this side. Whenever you put the this uh, label, then it'll just go over that excess that'll be showing on this side. So yeah, that's a good finish yeah so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it so that's the switch. yeah so this is how Successful. the switch is gonna look like yeah all right see you on the next video i guess <laughs>